Good morning, Sully. What's happening, bud? Uh, not too much. Actually, uh, in the, in the middle of packing up for a wedding, I got to get it this weekend. Oh, so, nice. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, early bird gets the worm. That's what they say. So uh, it's helping me pack. What what color suit you going with? Going with the gray suit. Charcoal uh, gray. Shirt, I'm not sure on. Uh, I'm in gray. Gray. Going good. gray. Just like a like a slate gray. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little bit, maybe a little bit lighter than that, and um, not sure on the shirt yet. Not sure on the tie either. Might go bow tie. Think a bow tie for this one. Uh, uh, some brown shoes. May, maybe yeah, maybe go happens. maybe go white shirt with like a maroon silk tie. See, I was kind of thinking. Yeah, I was. I, was, I actually packed this <laughs> thing. So you're you're on the ball. I yeah. mean, we're we're on, we, you get telekinesis. We're on the same we're on the same wavelength. We're on the same page. Although I got to give you a little heat, though, man. I saw your photo of the uh, the hats off on Twitter. Now I, I like the whole combo with the uh, the light V neck sweater over the shirt and tie. But come on, man, gray and tan. Well, it was a <laughs> subdued night. It was a subdued <laughs> night for sure. I didn't have a didn't have enough electricity going on there. But I will say, you, you never know, you I, never go V-neck gray and tan. Sweater. Come on, man. You're better than that. <laughs> uh, gray and tan, gray and tan gets you by. I mean, that's what it does. Gray and tan is like meat and potatoes. Um, it gets you by. You know, there's nothing you can never frown at it. I'm very anti gray and tan. Oh come on, <laughs> Sully. <laughs> the, the sweater was nice though. I liked I liked the V neck, uh, the, the light V neck sweater over the shirt and tie. That's a good look. No, uh, once you get to the fall, man, V necks are where it's at. I mean, it makes everybody's life easier. Believe me. Cole Rarey's rocking the sweater vest today. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Cole. Way to go, Cole. I, I, you know, maybe it'll rub off on you, Sully. <laughs> I've got, I got, I'll go with the sweatpants and a long sleeve t-shirt. It's radio. It's radio. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. What's your, uh, what's your take on argyle sweaters? Yay or nay? Um, not an argyle sweater man, but really? I am an I'll... argyle sock man. I would have pe- argyle sock guy. Yeah. I'm still. I'm trying to decide if I'm an argyle sweater guy or not. I, I've got one of them, but eh, I'm not. I'm not digging the color. It's kind of a weird orange. So, <laughs> well, I always. I grew up a big North Carolina basketball fan, so I like. There's a special place in my heart for argyle, but uh, <laughs> sweaters not huge. Not huge on sweaters, but uh, I'll go with the sock. Give me some argyle socks, and, and it can. Uh, it can really make an outfit pop. There you go. Although the, although light blue argyle that that might be the way to go with some dark jeans. Yeah, now you're thinking. No. See, now you're thinking outside <laughs> the box, Ollie. This is what I like, man. Now now we're having a little bit a meeting of the minds. <laughs> I don't I don't know if our sports fan base is they're probably thinking what the hell are these guys talking about. <laughs> well, you know what. You know, they're still tuning in, Sully. They're still tuning in, man. Why wouldn't they, man? This is the, the best show on radio. That's right. That's absolutely right. Let's talk a little football, Mark. Uh, you were out at the Cherokee game last night, and and first two time winner of the Hats Off goes to uh, Jonathan Lovett. Had an outstanding game. What do you have over two hundred fifty yards? Yeah, nineteen carries for two fifty and four touchdowns. And the first four touchdowns the Cherokee scored out of the six they scored on the night. Uh, yeah, he was remarkable. I mean, this kid when he hits the hole, he's already got so much momentum i mean uh, it's it's you never see him really stop for a loss he was unbelievable last night and in the first drive he he had a couple runs you know three four six yards but you could just see washington township was like just tripping him up just getting a fingertip out there to catch the shoelace and i thought man this can't last for long and, <laughs> and it didn't um he, he scored from a yard out in the first quarter then they had a one play 57 yard drive that he was the one play for another touchdown in the second uh, a 15 yard touchdown in the second and then most impressively in the third quarter they were up two touchdowns he fumbles the ball making something out of nothing by the way um but fumbles the ball it happens and washington township the next play scored throws the touchdown pass to cut it to 21-14 the next offensive snap, John Lovett takes it 75 yards for a touchdown on Jeez. the toss left. And uh, that was the end of the game, effectively. I mean, 28-14, to 14, middle of the third quarter. He's, he's, it was just unreal. I mean, like you saw the play coming, I'm thinking, man, I'm sure he wants to make up for the fumble. 
and, but there's no way he's taking this to the house. And sure enough, he did. <laughs> he's just a tremendous player. He's the only player I've ever seen a team give him the ball and call timeout after each run at the, with, what, 28 seconds left in the half to even, you know, the same way the NFL teams, you know, throw to the sticks and get out of bounds. That's right. what they did last night. He ran 40 yards in probably 28 seconds, and the last run he got out of bounds and with one second on the clock in time for a Hail Mary. That didn't work, but still, I mean, he's – He's unreal. I mean, great player. It was, it was a pleasure to watch him play. Oh, uh, Cole and I were talking. We were watching game day. They were showing some old footage of uh, Bear Bryant. Can you dig up one of those fedoras, the check fedoras? Well, <laughs> I I would love to. I would absolutely love to, Sully. And, um, you know, the, that that hat. You know, gets it's it's always interesting to see some people associated with Tom Landry, right? Some right. people associated with Bear Bryant. For me personally, it's got to be Bear Bryant. Uh, that's the whole reason I ever got the hat in the first place. So, um, yeah, you know, roll tide. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't know yeah, if uh, I don't know I if high school kids it. today even know who Bear Bryant was. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Bear Bryant, unless there's some some Twitter account that indicates who he is, or he's on Snapchat from the grave. Um, yeah, I don't think they know who he is. Anything else uh, stand out in your mind when you when you're going through some of these scores from last night, Mark? Well, I think there were a couple surprising scores when you look at how close the uh, final margins were. And you, you don't want to go overboard on that because a win is a win, and it all counts the same in the PowerPoints that I heard you talking to Kevin about before this. Um, Wilson, Woodrow Wilson, won by a touchdown against Triton. That's a Triton team that I think won one game, one or two games last year, has a won this year. Wilson was a top-15 team for us before the season. Uh, I remember we talked about them right as the season was kicking off, and I saw them the first week. They played very well defensively but they kind of lacked uh, the consistent offense. They lost to Willingboro last week to beat Triton by seven. Um, yeah, I, I would be interested to see the Tigers, you know, coming down the stretch here, what they can do offensively to kind of uh, back up the defense. They, you know, I, Cherry Hill West goes to overtime last night against uh, Winslow. You know, Cam Catholic kind of, I don't want to say struggles, but is in a, is in a fight with uh, Seneca, and they're all in the same division, so... The interesting thing there is West and Camden Catholic will likely be undefeated when they face off the last week of the uh, pre-Turkey Day regular season for division championships. So uh, kept an eye on that division all season long when you got Camden in there. We want to see how Pensalkin would play and Winslow, certainly. But uh, Cherry Hill West pulled out with a field goal. So, you know, they they've just found a way all year to, to get it done and – uh, they're kind of the cardiac uh, lions, I guess, the cardiac <laughs> cats. Mark, I don't know if you've seen Highland yet this year, but if you know anything about them, uh, tell us a little bit about that squad. They have a big game against Oakcrest next week. They're both going in 5-1. and one. Yeah, I have seen Highland. I saw that, That's who I saw uh, Wilson play at the beginning of the season. Uh, look, Coach Leary does a great job over there. Um, it's the second year there. The kids really bought in this year. Last year they had some chemistry issues. You know, to a man, the player said that, he said that. Um, they had some talent, they had great talent, not, you know, pretty good talent, and uh, everything kind of fell apart at the seams when the going got tough. This year it's not necessarily been the case. They, they, they play a, uh, a decent schedule, they've won some nice games, they've taken care of business when they needed to. Their only loss was to Cherry Hill West on the road. So Orlando Council is the running back, great great player, Um the quarterback's a kid named Cooey, Brian Cooey. He was transferred from Camden Catholic, and he's about, I want to say he's about 6'1", 6'2". He might weigh 130 pounds. That's what it looks like. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he weighs more than that, but he, he, I mean, he's a beanpole. But this kid is a quarterback and a kicker. And I will say this, um, if it comes down to a field goal, I don't know if he's honed in on his accuracy, but I saw him kick a forty, try a forty-some yarder against Wilson, and he missed a wide right. But it went about twenty-five yards past the field goal post. That, and, that uh, could be that could be an issue for Oakcrest because they've really struggled in the uh, the kicking department this year. Well, he is um, 
look, they, I, I don't know if he has plans to kick in the future um, in college, but uh, if things don't work out at quarterback, I would certainly consider it. But they play tough defense. And they've got a couple kids who can really uh, lay the wood, and I'm thinking about McBride and Colbert. And they, they're just a sound football team. And they're not really going to beat themselves. They're going to play strong defense. They're going to give the ball to council probably 20, 25 times a game and run behind that offensive line and Mike Lewandowski. So, um, you know, it's it, it should be a tough test for Oakcrest, but you know what? This is going to be a good test for both teams, I think. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Oakcrest coming off the bye. They're trying to get healthy. I know Kendall Elliott was dealing with a shoulder injury in his non-throwing shoulder, so uh, I, c- I think Coach Anderson's hoping to have him back next week. So it should be a great matchup, a lot of great matchups next week. Yeah, next week really is uh, really is chock full of great games, man. I, I'm I think most excited for uh, Cherokee and Lenape will play next week. I know uh, you know, and after seeing Cherokee and after associating with uh, Lenape a little bit, doing a preview for them earlier in the season, I think that's going to be just a just a fantastic uh, contest. Good stuff, Mark. We'll let you get going. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend, bud. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks, Sully, and, and do me a favor, man. Don't go out and just go buy a whole bunch of Argyle sweaters. You know, take your time <laughs> one at a time, see how it works out. I, I'm going to search around for the light blue. I, I think that'll be my look for this winter. <laughs> All right, man. The, the Carolina blue, you can't go wrong. That's right, that's right. <laughs> All right, bud, have a good weekend. You too. As uh, Mark Tribble of the Courier Post.